Ethan Daniels, an American marine biologist working in and around the islands of Palau, leads the crew into a protective reef known as Ula. Here, Ethan hopes to show the crew the phenomenon known as a cleaning station. On many of the reefs that we bring divers to, there are many cleaning stations. The sharks kind of come up into a stationary position with their mouth pointed up, their tail down so that they can stay stationary. And they'll open their mouth really wide and allow these little cleaner fish right into their gills and into their mouth, picking off small little parasites like isopods that cling to them. Just an amazing behavior to watch. Gliding into position using its pectoral fins like wings, a white-tipped reef shark hovers effortlessly above cleaning areas found every 10 to 15 meters along the reef. The shark basks in the diligent attention of bicolored cleaner wrasse as they scour the predator's gills and skin, ridding it of potentially harmful parasites. Filming natural behavior versus beta behavior in the water is so much more exciting. It's so much more exhilarating to actually sit there and watch an animal do its natural thing without having to prompt it or prod it or bring it in. The problem is it just doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes the shark's highly tuned sensory organs become overwhelmed by the juvenile remora's excessive grooming. Whether it's agitated or simply experiencing a sensory overload, the shark displays a kind of nervous tick. Juvenile remoras benefit sharks by freeing them of parasites, but as the fish grow to adult length, they become more of a hindrance than a help. With a modified dorsal fin that has evolved into a suction-like disc, the remora searches for an easy ride. The shark's aerodynamic body, in essence, serves as a vehicle for the opportunistic fish. For McKinney, the relationship is somewhat amusing. It was interesting to watch the remoras jump from it seemed like they had no loyalty. They didn't care what shark they were attached to, just so long as they had a ride. And as I watched one shark actually dodge a remora, it became more evident that they really didn't want anything to do with these freeloaders. And the longer I watched, it actually became comical as they were playing leapfrog from shark to shark. 